<laughs> that is good, good banter. Oh, Timmy, here we go, mate. Exciting times. Hey, hey, hey. It is uh, Fat Albert. Albert. He's back. Uh, he's, uh, he's fat. You couldn't get away with calling a show Fat Albert anymore. No. Actually, that was Bill Cosby. Was that Bill Cosby? Uh, did they do the voice? I think so. Maybe. So maybe, maybe. Fat was... Calling God. people fat was the last of his problems. Yeah, He's, uh, Bill Cosby couldn't got get away with spiking people's Jeez, hot imagine, chocolate anymore. Either. Imagine how many drugs you, you need to fucking take down Fat Albert. Jeez, you need one of those fucking bloody uh, one of those African things they yeah, take like down the, the rhinos darts. with. Yeah, Fat yeah. Albert. That was a show and a half, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, literally, he was a yeah. big boy, big, big unit, boy. big unit. Big so, uh, big hello, unit. Bantitos, and welcome to episode. 110. 110. I'm looking at the. Uh, we got something here. I feel oh, this. Yeah. Feel this is. You enjoying it? Uh, it's. We haven't had a really. Might be. I don't know. It's a bit of a slow start. But you know, we'll. Uh, we'll uh, I, 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 can we stick with it? We're going to get uh, a good one yeah, soon. Yeah. We're going to uh, get a good one soon. Yeah, this one's. 110. Uh, 110. 110 games. Mike Pike. Not Mark. Mike no, Pike. Not Martin. Yeah, he played for Sydney. The Canadian. Ah, it was a. There was a. He got drafted off some footage of him playing rugby union, running down the. Uh, oh, because he played for Canada. Yeah, yeah, he? yeah, yeah. And uh, and he was because he was tall. He was and, um, tall, and, and he could was run. he fucking moving down the side of this uh, uh, union pitch? I think they call it. Yeah. And um, yeah, they drafted him off the back of that. 110 games, not a bad effort for a Canuck. Not bad. You don't hear him talked about that often. Nah, I think he won a premiership. At Sydney, maybe Did he? Mike Pike, maybe 2012. Cool name. Oh, it's it's not bad. It's sort of uh, Mike Pike. Mike Pike sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'd rather go go out on the piss with uh, Martin Pike. Yeah. Than Mike Pike. Although M- Mike Pike might be a closet fucking loose unit. Not as loose as no, uh, he couldn't Martin get that Pike. loose. He's uh, I've had spent a bit of time with uh, Martin Pike, and tell you, he's a fucking big, strong boy, and he you wouldn't fuck with him in a million years. No. Nah. No. no, he'd have that the white like, the eyes would roll back in the head and um yeah he'd, he'd fuck you right up. Yeah, I've done a few gigs with him. I get on get on well with him now, but I I once uh I don't know why I was asked to do this, but um maybe I've told this story before. I, I don't on, think uh, you have. I've never heard anything about Martin Pike from you. It's Martin. Uh, so uh it's Martin Pike, the Brisbane, yeah, yeah, Brisbane, yeah, North he Melbourne, played, played, Fitzroy. Like, played like five flags. He did. Yeah. So um three. Did he play one in North Melbourne? Yeah, I reckon he played in two at North. 96. You might be right. Two at North, three at Brisbane. Some people are just lucky, aren't they? Just Tom? lucky. Just, uh, not saying, good player, not good saying player, you're though. lucky. Not saying you're lucky there, Martin. Anyway, no, no. so um, anyway, so the team he was coaching, which I reckon was like a Carlton back when it was that weird fucking bull ants. Um, oh, like VFL. VFL. Yeah. But it was, you know, when it was all sort of messed up and it disorganized. Was. It was and, cuckoo. Um, anyway, so he was coaching that team. And, and um, Tony from the Comics Lounge, his brother was like head of football or something. Okay. And so they're, it's, it's, uh, it's the, they've made the grand final and they're all up in this shitty little fucking room up at Princess Park about to announce the teams for the grand final. And there are about 35 blokes in there. So they're all, you know, it's probably three or four blokes pretty nervous whether or not they're going to make the get, team. Get a game. And I don't know who came up with a fucking idea for me to come in and do stand-up comedy before they announced the team. Oh, 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 oh. Before a grand final. Before a grand like final. Like that's... Um that's fucking horrific. And they thought it was going to... Inspire them? Oh, just relax them? Yeah. And um, oh, one yeah. of the worst gigs I've ever done in my oh, life. I could imagine it. Was it. just shit. But I remember Martin Pike sitting at the back of the room looking at me like he just wanted to grab me and throw me through the fucking window. He was just going, who the fuck is this? At what and stage on the Patreon we did the... Um, we had a look at some of your highlights. Were you, was this at back tracksuit? time no nah, it wasn't tracksuit track fortunately um it's still remember, pretty weird i remember head, there was though. a cloak there cameron. uh cameron cloak i reckon was there yep. it was so there are a few names around but oh it was it was just fucking nah, horrific was, and then i just got down and just went and sat down and listened to him announce the premiership it was a shit vibe in there really yeah. horrible how'd they stuff. go the next that week don't know i didn't uh no nah. No, no, I'm not guessing. I'm guessing not well. Not well. Okay, so we've got uh, Mike Pike, also Winnie Abraham. And <laughs> oh, what do you got there? A bit of oh, just semen in emotionally, the throat. Emotionally, uh, Oh, a bit, bit of a... He banged me one night. Oh, did he? After Winnie, a game. He had some skills. He did have some skills. Took a great grab up there in 98, Marnica. 
Oh, he did, didn't he? He did. He did. So that, that's good stuff. Wouldn't be too many Indigenous players you say he's got shit skills? No. no I mean, I haven't seen all the games, but... No. Yeah. I haven't seen them all play. Most of them... Uh, they're got, doing all right, the ones who play without the boots and shit as well. Yes. Skills. Yeah, they've got magical skills. Great they? skills. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, yeah, but there we go. That's uh, 110. We've kicked it off. Yeah, you little that's beauty. Good. That's going to uh, be a big can I? Can I? Uh, happy birthday, Tom. Thank you. For uh, last Tuesday. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Saturday. 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 Yeah. yeah, so... Kicking the fucking guts. I tell you what, I thought... Um, well, hang on, hang on. You wait, wait for a bit, wait for a bit. Because oh, I've sort of been chatting to uh, a good friend of ours and... Uh, Long-time listener? Uh, maybe might listen here and there. Okay. I don't know, don't know. But a good, good friend of ours, good friend yep. of ours. And um, he said um, that maybe... We know your memory's not great, Tom. It's poor. It's poor. It's very bad. It's, it's very poor bad. at best. Is there any truth to the rumour or the allegation that you forgot how fucking old you were turning? Oh, 100% <laughs> forgot how old I was. I, I've spent the last 12 months thinking I was 43. And then I was, uh, I was chatting with mum and, and she said Tom, something about 57. your 45th. And I was like, mum, mum. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I've I'm, got to make it through my 44th. And then, she, and then we'll chat and we... We counted back, 1978. Sure enough, I'm fucking 45. So I've lost a year. You've lost In a year. one birthday, I've just lost a year. Yeah, that's, that's no good. This is, uh, no this good. is real midlife stuff. Because I reckon, I, what, optimistically live to 90? I'm not living on 90. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think so. No, do you, you die can't. from dementia or do you just? Um, I think it wears you down. Uh, you'll probably have a Dexy overdose. Ah, I reckon yeah. maybe the way you're popping those things yeah. on fucking breath mints. Yeah, no, good point. Have you looked up the long term effects of shelving fucking ten dexies on a on a road trip? I think it just makes you super sharp. <laughs> okay, I think well, you can't keep that up for the rest of your life. Ah, that's true. Uh, there's got to be some side effects. So, that's true. Uh, but I figure the first you... eight or so, uh, five years of your life, pretty much you write them off uh, from one to five. Yeah, yeah. Well, no one remembers that. Sort shit. of shit in your pants. And the last guns. five. Well, depending on... Depending on where you are. Yeah, mid-life. I'd call this... Yeah, 45 is midlife. This is midlife. This is midlife. mid-life. How, how, how long do you reckon you could live for, Tom? You're pretty fit. You look I'm after fit. yourself. Brains... Brains fucked. Brains cooked. Brains um, cooked. Body's good. Heart... Heart's okay. Have you had a heart check? Had a, had Have you a, got one? I've got a heart, small heart. Maybe. Um, glass heart. Tico. Small and ticker. Kidneys are fucked. Yeah, no so doubt what happened about there it. Again? No, when I pierced me, you got a golden staph That's infection. Right. I lost half a half, half a your kidney. Yeah. Well, and this is uh, one of my presents here ringing here. Oh. I got a Tam got me a, a Apple phone. Apple phone. Uh, an Apple uh, watch. Yeah, no, you're onto it, mate. An Apple that, watch. How's that, how's that brain going? Uh, not good. And. Um, they're, I gotta, they look good. They look good. They're fucking disruptive, though, during a day. Every ting, pong, Message. ching. Yeah. Sounds like a, <laughs> like a saucepan. Saucepan um, flying down the stairs. Yeah, ching, Yeah, sounds pong. like Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. Yeah. Um, so uh, sounds like the tin man falling down the stairs. That's it. That's yeah. it. So what pops man. up? You've got, obviously, the calls. Oh, fucking anything. Well, that was a phone call. Someone rate. messages me. I'll tell you what happened today. Did a dump, as you do at work. And it, and it said, wipe, Yeah, Tom. it said, Tom. What are you doing? That stinks. Yeah. Um, so no, so I've uh, so I've done a dump, washed my hands, and I've gone on the tumble dryer, put my hand not the tumble dryer, put my hand <laughs> on the <laughs> what? So I put my hand in the just, tumble dryer. Just breathe, Tom. Just breathe. You're <laughs> no, forty five. Yeah. Well, I can actually feel the brain being a year older. Um, I, yeah. So I put my hand under the hand dryer, and it's going, and then my phone started going, ding, 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 and it said, too noisy, and it said. <laughs> It said, just so you know, this is a some level of noise. Yeah. And if you have this for ten minutes, um, it could cause long term okay. effects to your to your hearing. I was so, like, well, so now you got to wear he, earmuffs when you go for yeah. a dump. Oh, well, he's drawing. He's drawing the hands for fucking ten minutes. <laughs> he's drawing it for more than one second, and then well, saying, "Oh, no, fuck right. it," and wiping it on oh, there. Oh fuck! On I'm over shorts. the Apple Watch already. Oh, it's a fuck it. Look, it's. Yeah. 
then it's basically told me right off the dot. It's basically a fucking tracking device. My wife's given me a tracking device. Yeah, she I knows think... what I'm doing. I'm sure she can listen into every conversation. She's, she's here and ever than now. She... She's, in, she's in the back back of a van. Yep. She's got the boys are locked up inside. <laughs> she's in there with Elsie. She's got the ear, the headphones on. And she's tracking you, Tommy. Oh, Elsie, don't get me fucking started on Elsie. Right, what's she done? This morning, so I thought, I've got a, I've got a big week ahead. Got the Adelaide You're Fringe. You're going to Adelaide. I'm going to Adelaide. You're in Adelaide by the time this comes yeah, out. Yeah, I'm going to Adelaide Fringe. So a Monday. That's why she got it. That's, yeah. Because you're going to Adelaide. Yeah, I reckon I've outsmarted though. I'm going to take it off. Just leave it at home. Just leave it at home. I fucking left it at home. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, and uh, yeah, so I bet. So I got myself... I once read that, I once heard something, might have been a podcast or about if you can if you can set your shit up the night before, even the simplest tasks like picking socks, jocks. It if can, you can what? See your shit up. If you can set your shit up the, or set yourself up for the day. What you said? Set your shit up for the day. 45 is not looking good for you, mate. Oh, you I feel that's, uh, I'm in free fall. You're in free fall. Okay. Yes. No, so it was so it Jordan Peterson. So before you go to bed, Jordan Peterson. He might have said that. Who's Jordan? Get your Peterson? room in order. He, he's he, he's a philosopher. No, he's a psychologist. Is he? He's big on podcasts. He's he's a, he's, he's big. Oh, okay. Hmm. So so they say like before you go to bed, you know, put your socks, your shoes, your your shorts. It's just one. So you get up and you just bang. Yeah, and it's you, there. Yeah, you quick shower. And and you're away. There's no thinking. It's just you know, you're, it's a great through the it's, a, no, it's a great start uh, to the day. My G-string? So um so anyway so I've got up at the shower. Everyone's still asleep. It's about bloody five o'clock, mate. I'm up early. Okay. Uh, got a big day ahead. Got me uh got me I got my clothes on. Headed to tiptoe tiptoe downstairs. I knew there was a there was a yogurt in the fridge. Okay. Some muesli. That's a nice healthy Ooh, start. Had my half stuff. orange juice. Good brain. Half food, green that. juice. Good brain food. Um, I had my little Dexy, said take one, had nine, Fantastic. um, shelved one, put one in my eyelid and ready to go. So, and that we had pizza Sunday night. So Ooh. I had three slices of pizza, walking out the door, got me laptop over one shoulder, got the, uh, got me fucking pizza, got to the front door, everything's running smoothly. And then I was like, no, I've got me wallet. Uh, ah, fuck it. So I just put everything down, uh, on the little, uh. Table near the front door, going back to the wallet. All of a sudden, I heard chaos at the front door, and I was like, "Oh, you motherfucker!" Laptops and I fucked. and I ran, just fucking bolted to the front door, and the dogs just fucking just ripped. Uh, no, just it, the three slices of pizza, fucking gone. What'd you have them in? Just a, a plate with a glad, glad wrap, wrap over, over the, the top. top. Man. Oh, rookie, rookie, rookie mistake, mistake. rookie mistake. Actually, now that I think about it, I reckon it might have eaten the glad wrap. Yeah. yeah, maybe might have a trouble shitting that pizza out if the yeah. glad wrap gets caught. Might fart and have a big really bubble. Anus. Yeah, the glad wrap bubble. Yeah, so pizza. that fuck, I was pissed off. Um, then I couldn't find my wallet, so I had nothing for lunch. Uh, uh, that's a shit day. That's a shit start no, to that, the day. That that teaches you don't get your shit ready. Nah, the night before, a, mate. yeah, just you're better off just starting chaos. And the only way is yeah. up from chaos. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my seat. It's your seat, is it? It's my seat. Needs a bit of yeah. oil. Oh, yeah. Squeaking. Yeah, squeaking. Yeah, there we go. There, um, we go. Well, there you go, mate. Anyway, so that's Anyway, so that's what, do you, what do you got for me, mate? Oh, mate. Uh, plenty to talk about. Wednesday night, went up to Shepparton. Shep. With, uh, the great Brad, Shep. Bradford Oaks. Shep present. In the big red red van. Some good Drove band up there. up there. Oh, some great band Tito's. Yeah, um, he's, uh, well, the great thing about band Tito's, uh, Brocky, I've written it down. Yep. He was one of them. Yeah, um, the great thing course. about band Tito's is uh, I started chatting with him, getting on well, and one of them, I think he said, um, oh, mate, you wouldn't remember that anyway. Your memory's fucked. Mate, how good's that? They they know. They you know, know. There's no small talk. There's no... You don't have to say, um, hey, Tommy, you ever shit in a park on a fucking date after eating surf and turf? Yeah, I have. I have. But they know my memory's fucked, so they don't... There's no pressure to remember shit. Yeah. It's bloody you're, great. You're in a good... Yeah, so you rem- forget people's names. Like, they expect it. They expect it. They're disappointed if I go, hey, Brocky. They're like, ah, yeah, must be a bit of an act. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's not an act. So, yeah, that had some great chats with them. Great times, me birthday, took the, the Saturday night off, no gigs, but uh, Sunday, 
Went out to the, uh, did a reverse draw, $2,000 reverse draw at the Kui Rup Cricket Club. Nice. Uh, it's nothing like a good good reverse draw. And I've got a little, uh, I do a lot of reverse draws. I say, look, I'll help you out. I'll bloody read the numbers, hang a bit of shit on people. Yeah, I'll rig it if you need me I'll to. I'll rig it if you need. If someone who, uh, you know, the, 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 so the club, I'll, I'll make sure the club wins it. Yep. If the, the club's prez, fucking struggling. The wife of the prez. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the big recruit, if big we need recruit. to keep him for another yeah. year, if he's uh, 50-50. So I've got a little tip that I tell clubs, and it amazes me how many clubs don't don't do it. So, so this one was sixty bucks to get in. Yep, pretty reasonable. I would have thought three yeah. hours free piss. Well, that, yeah, it's paid for itself. 12, Twelve to three. So you can drink ten fucking beers. In you there. get a oh yeah, bloody oath. And they weren't uh, the Summersbys were, but you had to pay for the Summersbys, which few of the boys Thank you. Were, uh, that, that were just kicking on from the night before were a little pissed yeah. off about. But uh, rules are rules. Harden up and drink. Harden beer, up, boys. boys. Um, you get a roast beef roll. That's and she good. was a fucking beauty too. Great roast beef roll, and you had a chance to win two thousand dollars cash, mate. For sixty, that's mate, I, you sixty. Have told bucks. me I would have come down. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I would have bought one, but I was there. You were there. Yeah, you, I didn't you're need to. Paid. So, and I and they say, you know, that's that sort of break even. That sort of break even. That sixty bucks. So then they rely on the grog cutting off at three. Everyone buying piss. Uh, a few auction items. Maybe make five dollars off each ticket. Yep. So it's not. Money wise, it's not. It's not a massive no. earner for the club. So, I reckon they could go for, uh, bigger on that, though. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon they. Go a lot I reckon of, they could do. Oh, plus are, entertainment, they had to pay for me. Oh wow! Well, so you got yeah, a lot Jesus, of you got a lot are. of expenses. Like, so that and they sold about 120 tickets. I, for one, couldn't be fuck right now doing the math on how much money they would have uh, made. Sixty by six grand. Uh, Twenty by six is. Uh, no, you lost me there. Yeah, lost me so, there. So well, maybe they are Seven, making a bit of cash. Seven thousand. Oh, they got to pay for the piss. Is that, no, it's not, yeah, they got to pay for piss. I don't think they are making money. No, and Most the two clubs grand. sell them for about hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But um, maybe they're tight asses in Kiwi. Right? They might. They probably get better entertainment though, just quietly. Um, mm. Anyway, so what I say to the club, and and it blows clubs fucking minds when I say it. I say, what are you going to do, guys? I'll help you. It's going to be a major fuck around just before we start. But you get everyone in. Put the keys in the bowl. And, and you have an During the halftime break. During the we break. We have a fucking key party. Yep. It's, uh, everyone bangs each other. And it's 50 other. bucks a head. Yeah. And literally $50 a head. Yeah, 50 yep. bucks yeah. a head. That's how we make the extra money. Yeah. And they're only charging 60 bucks a ticket. Some of these country clubs, they're a bit standoffish. They're that's like, right. Look, we're not normally in the... All male gangbangs because it's the ratios of the hundred right. blokes there. Probably ninety eight of them are blokes. But a lot of those country clubs, though, there is a bit of that shit happening. Yeah, in those country towns, yep. like you know, Jenny's banged Macca. Yeah, Macca's going out with Julie, and Julie was with yep. uh, Robbo. Anyway, so I didn't. Happening. I didn't offer that up. That up the Kiwi rub. I didn't think it was that kind of club. No. So, so I said, guys, what you got to do? And it's a bit of a fuck around. I'll get up and say, "All right, we got half an hour. It's tw- if you want to buy extra tickets, Ooh. it's twenty dollars a ticket, three for fifty, or we're going to give you ten for a hundred. Whoa, three, no, eight for a hundred. Oh, well done, eight for a hundred. And and they go, do you reckon people will buy extra extra tickets? And I say, in the uh, draw, in the draw, yep. and they because they've already got a ticket in the draw. I said, in their head, even that's too cheap. I reckon. No, hear me out. Okay, in their head, it's. A ticket's worth sixty dollars. Yes. So they're thinking twenty bucks a ticket, and and they go, all right, we'll see how it goes. They made a fucking fortune, and every club I've ever done it with has made a fortune because people they're just fucking queuing up. People handing over hundreds, and they, they were very happy with uh Tom C. with, T. with uh, TC gets a little idea there. So anyway, me and this guy called Steve have got on stage. So we've gone from selling 110, 120 tickets to 300. Whoa. So we sold an extra 180 tickets. Great. Yeah. And even the last, there were 20 left, and we said we had an auction for the last yep. 20 tickets, and it got some bloke bought them for 200 bucks. So, uh. Those clubs do do that. Like your club does it. Well, our auction. club does it. Yeah. And uh, my clubs have done it. No, no, but not the big buy in at the start. Oh, at the very start. Yeah, so this is before it starts. Apologies. Yeah, so this is before anything's been drawn. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. But they still, and then they ran a raffle to get into the last twenty, and then you make a killing out of that. Got it. 
And I don't. No one has ever fuck checked. Maybe the fuck checker. Maybe this is his big D. Big D. This yeah, could be a bit quiet. We haven't. We haven't needed many fucks checked. No. Nah, well, big D. Because this is fuck. There's that many rumors going around about this. At what point can you not have the reverse draw? You know how everyone goes. Oh, mate, you've got to draw it out first and stick it in an envelope and yep. stick it on a wall. I've heard ten grand. Anything? Oh, anything above ten grand, or maybe it's five you grand. Can't, maybe five. Yeah, everything. Anything above five, you've got to, you've got to pull it out first, and you have a winner because that means you can't sell other things to go I, in later. I think you got to do that with all of them. No, nah, I heard it was five grand. Okay. Well, all if, right. Well, they're breaking law because, because if you pull the first one out and put it in an envelope, you can't. There's no point selling a fucking extra ticket because no, the winner's already in the envelope. Yeah, but the the idea is that because you don't know the number, that I'm still a chance. So there's still numbers up there, technically. Okay, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's got a bit. So you can't actually put something new in. No, you couldn't put something new in because it, it's in the. That's envelope. right. Yeah. So, I mean, you are taking the punt, but no one knows what that number is. Yeah. True. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, so. So there's a bit of excitement around the joint. Oh, I can feel it here. So me and Steve, uh, this this young you bloke, nickname, school Steve? teacher. No, 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 no nickname, Steve. He, Jesus. Steve was uh, he was the assistant uh, vice president. Okay. And right off the bat, the press says, "Don't this call is Steve. Him anything apart from Steve. He does he, he does fuck all around the club. Okay. But Steve was a ripping bloke, young kid. Uh, he was on the he was on the Summersbys. So anyway, it's paying for him. I don't know. Um, Steve Morta. Anyway, so I'm drawing the balls out. So I've got. You love balls. So picture this. Uh, where I've got a spinning thing. Yep. And I'm picking Classic. balls out one at a time. Oh, you love balls. And then one, I pick out 87, and I've got all these. I've got 300 holes. Yeah. You know those little hole boards? Yes. And and each one's got a number, and I've got so to pop is, it. This so is as time I, consuming. This is fucking time consuming. So um, anyway, so we've pulled out, say, nine. Okay. Let's and, have a br- oh, all right. And so we've pulled out nine, and all these nine are in the first two of three squares. Okay. And I said to Steve, I just leaned over. Look, at this stage, everyone's still excited. You know, mm. people drift off. Yeah. But uh, start. everyone's watching. They're hanging shit on their runners. They're getting drawn out and rah, rah. So I've leaned over to Steve, and I said, Steve. Are all the balls? Are all the balls in the, uh, in the fucking spinny, spinny thing? thing? And he said, yeah. And I said, what are those bags of balls um, in front of you? And he said, oh, that's 200 to 300. And I said... Are they the ones that we auctioned off <laughs> before? I said... Remember, I champ? said, Stephen, um, we, we sold 300 tickets. And he said, mate, we only sold 200. And, he, and I said, I, I, I said, there's a board behind us. And there's a girl ticking off the numbers. And mm. I said, Steve, there's clearly fucking 300 Numbers on the board. Is there any chance that people in the crowd won't pick up uh, this? What's and, going uh, on here? And Steve goes, "Oh boy!" And <laughs> this uh, is why Steve is... does fuck all around the club. I think. <laughs> and fuck, was it funny? The, luckily, it was early enough. I reckon another ten balls, Ooh. we would have had to cancel and start, start again. again. Yeah, but oh god, was it funny? It was an absolute fucking shit show. And then, um, and then we got down to the last twenty, and. And we were counting all the balls, oh, and there were, it's a fucking. It's I'll a tell fucking you what, night. It's stressful. It's fucking stressful. It is. I earned. I'm not going to say what I was paid, but it was not enough to, for the fucking. Because everyone's blaming me. Everyone's going. I know. Everyone's going. Tom, I, I, didn't I was put like, the balls in. I was like, I fucking. Like I'm just here trying to help. Steve's just backing out of the. Oh. Steve's driving off in his car. Mate, that's what I said to Steve. Steve, at the end of this, I get in my car. Fuck off. Never come back to this joint. You've got to fucking hang around this joint for the rest of your life. I said, you better hope this goes well. And, um, hey, there's people bloody abusing us and hanging shit on us. And oh. it's like, by the end of it, it was like Steve and I had done fucking Kokoda together or something. We felt like just fucking embracing each other. <laughs> so we got to 20 left and we said, all right, let's have a break at 20 and, and do a ball camp. Just, yeah. So yeah. there's so no. did you have two? So there's no. Yeah, I'd, ham, Steve ham, had three, which was weird. <laughs> Somehow three. Steve had. Number 187 in his ball <laughs> bag. Jocks. I said, Steve, how did you fucking manage that? How did you get that? You are sack. a fucking idiot. You are a, put pisses it out. There, you go. There's the, there it is. So, so one of them was one of the holes was 37. Yep. And so we've got all the balls, laid them out. No sign of 37. Oh no. I was like, 
Oh, Steve. Fuck me, sweetie. Stevie. This is fucked. And st- we're just looking at each other going, we're fucked. Like, unless we can magically find a shop that delivers balls with fucking 87 written on it. Yeah. Uh, like a delivery service. Like, we, mm. we are fucked. You, you would think it's, it's, as a business, it probably wouldn't be something you'd think about starting up. No. Delivering no. balls for reverse draws. We, we would have paid a fair bit for it. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we're about, to, we're about to confess that we've fucked this whole thing up. And then 37. Steve goes, I think 37 is the extra ball we're going to auction off. Oh. I was like, oh, God. And it was in fucking – well, I was partly to blame for this one because oh. I had it uh, in a little bag next to where I was sitting. But, oh, oh mate. It well, so so what would you do from here? Well, we just pulled out 37 and oh. and raffled it. So, okay. Yeah, and that, right. and that went in. But, mate, fucking Fuck reverse out. draws – they are a fucking nightmare. Mate, if you don't have someone who's on the ball, like, and that's the thing, people start drinking early, they, yeah. get, they get about six or seven cans in, and yep. all of a sudden, uh, things get a bit bloody haywire. Oh, and was, uh, uh, there's, I know, I know, a few few clubs have had some issues with the reverse draw. Uh, um, fucking nightmare. There was one guy that, because uh, I think number 100 and 200 drawn out, you won a TV. Mm. And there was a guy uh, that had just got out of the clink. He was there. Funny, fucking funny bloke. And he was, uh, Everyone was thanking him for uh, knocking off the local retrovision for getting the TV. So that was a <laughs> so that was a that was a good laugh. But um, but we called the last five up. The last five got up on stage. Yep. And six blokes got up, and you should see Steve's face. And like I was oh. like, by this time I'd stop caring. I'd already prepared to do a runner. Like okay. I'd fucking disconnected with this yep. joint. And um, and Steve <laughs> and this bloke got up, and he was, and he's going, mate. And they're going, well, what number are you? And he was going, he's pointing at, he's going 126. And his mate's going, the other bloke's going, I'm 126. He goes, mate, I got me fucking ticket, I'm 126. And we are, we are just shitting ourselves. We yeah. are, we have fucked it. And the president's, mate, he's, he's getting ready to, he's getting ready to sell his house he's, and He's got down. a fucking knife. And, uh, <laughs> throat. <laughs> and, uh, he's got a shotgun to and his then, head. And then the bloke's just doing a Steve and going, just fucking with your mate. And we're like, oh. <laughs> And we are just shoot you, like, you motherfucker. Like, <laughs> it was one of the great pranks I've ever oh. seen. He fucking played it perfectly. Oh, like, do you reckon Steve took a ciggy today? I reckon oh. he would have been fucked. Hey, should have, when I left, Steve was sitting outside. He was just holding his fucking summer. Dishevelled. Summers, just a dishevelled human being. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, got so through it. Big shout out to Stevie Star. Steve. We nearly, uh, we got there, mate. We got there, but she was a. Uh, Woo, she was a rough day in the office, I there tell you, you what. But, uh, mate, I'm, I'm hogging this over, no, over to you, Ivan. No, that's good. Over All right, so Friday, I've, um, I've, I must have, I've, I've got a new man crush, Tommy. Okay, someone, do tell. Someone who you're very fond of. Uh, let me guess. This is like celebrity heads. Is it, uh, is it a sports person? Yes. Is it, have I ever met them? Yes. Is it Buckley? No. Fuck. Um, do they play football? Or do are they? Did they play football? Yes. Uh, for Collingwood? Yeah, no. Essendon? No. North Melbourne? No. Carlton? No. Hawthorne? No. This could be a long episode. <laughs> <laughs> How many guesses are you get in Celebrity Head? <laughs> I think um, you're out. Brownlow medalist? Uh, no. No. Uh, you, in, you're going to kick yourself. You're going to kick in, yourself. Interstate club. Interstate club. I reckon, I reckon you've blown him. I've blown him. I I've blown a lot of footballers. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really narrow it down. The, inter, the interstate thing narrowed it down yeah, more than yeah, that did. Yeah. Um, West Coast? No. Frio? No. Sydney? No. Adelaide? No. Port Adelaide? No. Tassie? No. <laughs> you could not have gone. I think you've named 20 clubs. <laughs> you've Fuck named. me. Come on, mate. You're going to kick yourself. Right, let me go. Th- uh, oh, go. Oh, oh, we got Brisbane. Brisbane, yes. Brisbane. 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 All right. So You love this guy. Akamanis. No, you hate that guy. <laughs> no, Ak is all right. Okay. Um, Ak is Come a on, funny mate. bloke. You're Bossy. His... No. Daniel Bradshaw. No. I love Brad. No. You, you, um, you don't love him more than Brad. You love this guy more than Bradshaw. You've blown him. I've blown him. You've fucking blown him. Right, I'm just. Is he uh, Lynch? No. Power? No. Oh, fly. 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 Oh. fly. Well. No, I guess technically you're right, but fuck. You should have said warm when I said Collingwood. 
No, I guess. Well, he didn't play for Collingwood. Yeah, it's true. You, you, you went round every team, even the, even the interstate teams. You got nowhere near it. That was hard. You started Jacob. making up fucking Alice Springs and shit. We thought about doing celebrity heads for for a Patreon, but fuck, I think people yeah. would just. That'd uh, be hard to listen to. Yeah. So, and mind you, on the Patreon, we've had some advice about ah, the Patreon, haven't yes, we? Yes. Uh, we thought. We did think the good broadcasting was a great idea where we go. And Which it is. It is. It's a great idea. Really using Tommy's noggin to yep. fucking think of that. But we got some advice that a lot of people, they don't have time to watch it. Yeah, they got kids. They they've got drug problems. Drug problems. They've got they've hemorrhoids. Uh, hemorrhoids. They herpes. can't sit down. HIV. HIV. So yep. they can't sit down and watch. So what we're going to try and do now is do a bit more audio stuff. So every month will be... A bonus ep? Yeah. So every pr- month will be a bonus ep on the Patreon. And we can do and a bit because we've sort of been releasing stuff every couple of weeks. Yeah. So I reckon we can still keep that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But we'll, we'll guarantee the, uh, the, the bonus eps, which will be the audio ones just like this. And we've got one no coming celebrity out head. Uh, tomorrow, Friday. We've got a bonus ep coming out Friday. Yep. Yeah. So we've pre-recorded. We've recorded that. That's we a have, beauty. We've recorded that. That's good. That is a beauty. That's good. So, uh, yeah. So we'll so, keep it a bit more audio. We'll still do the video, but we do, do know that a lot of people, like I said, don't have time to... Yeah. We just thought that was going to be really cool and... Uh, Which yeah. I think it is. It, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's cool. cool. So, anyway. So I'm at this uh, Sportsman's Night and it is a uh, Sportsman's Day. Yeah. Sportsman's Day. And it, it, it is a big lineup. Let me... Let me so we've got the fly. Yeah, I've got the fly. What a guy! And, oh, mate, seriously, I was getting wet in my um, little panties. In my little panties, my my knickers, and I was uh, I was carrying on like a fucking schoolgirl with the uh, with the fly. But anyway, yep. so I'll, did he just I'll, speak or did someone interview him? Uh, well, it was uh, no, it was all interview. It was all interview. Oh, yeah, good. So that's good. So who would we have? We had. Uh, oof! Did they even advertise this fucking thing? Here we go. No. Uh, where are we? Where? Oh, here we go. What here club we go. are we talking? Uh, where? Where I live? You, you got me the gig. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was uh, I, did I take any money for that? Uh, oh, that's the one I was, I was fucking yeah, spewing. I couldn't you, do. Why couldn't you do? It was it? my birthday. It was on the Friday. Why the fuck didn't I do that gig? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> you are. Quite possibly the dumbest human being I've I ever met. I could have done that gig. You, I don't. Know. I think when you originally said you said it was the fourth. And I'm like, the sporties on a Saturday? No, I think... What did you do? No, I think what happened was... Because um, we're going to pick the kids up from school early on Friday and then go, and then go up on their little uh, little weekend away. But then, oh, some shit was going on at school and Flinny wanted to hang around. and So we didn't have leave to the end anyway. So I could have gone and the fucking done the gig. You could have done the gig, mate. I could be telling this story. You could be telling this story. And any, I must uh, admit, there was there was something that you talk about, Dennis the Menace. There was some, whoo! Oh, it's running rampant at the moment. There was some stuff going on here. Old so men we, are going mad. So we had uh, Shelly Heath, who's a Melbourne AFLW Premiership player. Okay. I think she grew up. Uh, she played for Mount Martha, I think. Ah, and uh, not connection. much of her, but uh, saw her little highlights package. She is. Uh, she tackles like a a woman possessed. Yep. And uh, Craig McRae, the yeah, fly, the fly. Matthew Richardson. Wow. Who, Fucking hell, he is... Uh, he's a lovely man. And very... He's still looking fucking oh, good. he looks amazing. He looks amazing. He looks amazing. So uh, they've got they've got me there. <laughs> this is... What, yeah. This is never great, I reckon, when you put it up. It says local comedian. That just screams mm, fucking yeah, it's not, shit, doesn't not it? Not a great bio. Nah, it's not a great bio. But uh, Apparently, Matty Richards in his playing days just lived off... He was one of the... One of the early... Pioneers for the sporties, and he just lived off the sporties, mm. and with his footy payments, just bought houses. And apparently, he's fucking just loaded. Is that uh, definitely Richo? Uh, probably not. <laughs> it could be. No, I think it might but, have uh, been. Anyway, so uh, turn up, turn up at uh, Mornington. Looking forward to it. Local gig, uh, all good. I speak yeah. to uh, the organizer during the week. I said, "Mate, I'll get there." They said, "We're going to get you on about three. It starts at 12. I said, "Fantastic." Where is it? It's uh, Mornington Hotel. Ah, yes. Mornington Hotel. Yep. So a bit of a long room. They yeah. set up in the bar area. So a bit of a bit of a long room. Tables yep. were squished in. But, yep. uh, that's mate, how I like them. That's how you like it. But uh, long room. People up yep. the back. So anyway, uh, Ben Dixon was meant to be MC in the day. Yep. He's, uh, he got a better offer, though. He's been called in from Fox Footy. Yeah. 
He's got to go to Brisbane. Well, he's contracted. He's contracted yeah. at Fox Footy. Yeah. So, uh, and they sort of said they found that out on the Monday, and they said it sort of it sort of worked well because we probably saved a bit of cash. Yeah, good. Not having to pay. Dico. Well, it's, it seems an expensive lineup. Oh, very expensive. Very mm. expensive, but uh, just beautiful, great setup. And uh, so, I think one of the guys from the club he comes in, he comes in, and he goes, "I'm going to step up to the plate. Yep. I'm going to MC." Ah, uh, good. Uh, and they and they got Shelley Heath up first, yep. and. Uh, Wow, well, like they had the screen behind, and they oh, had a all out. big uh, highlights package yep. of Shelley Heath. Her just tackling and scruffing yeah, and roughing yeah. and kicking goals and yep. handballing and uh, just really bloody. And then it goes AFLW Premiership player uh, drafted from blah blah blah. Did this, did that. Please welcome, please welcome. Shelley Heath. Crowd goes wild. Yeah, you beauty, you beauty. Jesus Christ, look at this. They've set that up for her. Yep. She uh, speaks well. Um, the MC asks her a few questions. Really, really good talker. Great stuff. Then we go to her. Then we go to an auction. So uh, the MC, then we go to someone else who's auctioning. So there's, there's, there's a lot of... Lot Got an of, auctioneering. Like it's someone, yeah, a bloke. Uh, Dennis, who I actually met up in Mildura a couple yep. of years ago. And uh, he's, he's auctioning stuff off. So yeah, well good. done, Dennis. Sometimes it pays to get a good uh, professional auctioneer. Well, they've got a different voice, don't they? They know what they're doing. There's nothing worse than someone who's auctioning and you're like, oh, they, they are two dollars, so oh, fifty. Do I hear fifty? He had an auctioneer's yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's auctioned off some cattle or something before. I don't yeah, know good. what he's auctioned off some uh, some a lot of stuff. Anyway, so next it probably comes, a house, probably a house. Yeah, yeah. Next it comes to the fly. Yep. The my man crush mm. and the. What a You're, man. What a man. What a man. And uh, this, this is a bit weird, though. They change to someone different now. The M's, they go, they put it all on. His highlight's on the screen, you know, yep. and uh, very dated. It looks like they'd ripped it off a of VHS. But, well, he uh, hasn't played for a while. He, no, well, that's true. That's true. And, uh, yeah, bloke up there interviewing him and yep. uh, just fly back and forth and just the nicest bloke such a good man unbelievable he's telling us about his his uh his backstory he's telling us about the brisbane days he's telling us about what he got into coaching and just yep. some great great stories and uh then open it up to the floor all right let's open it up to the floor yeah uh, some really good questions any laughs uh, he got he got some laughs. He yep. got some laughs. Um, what, what was some of the laughs? It was, it was a bit of a tough room. It was sort of like I said, the people right yeah, at the back, a bit, a bit disengaged. They were a long way, way then, disengaged, yeah. and uh, he's very softly spoken, fly. Yeah, yeah, but uh, just a but demands just, respect. Demands respect, and uh, just great. And he was just so positive. They they mentioned that someone spoke about Ginevan and the the thing that happened there with uh, the drugs and that and and you know he said you know what like I don't have um I don't have uh, sons but uh, I treat all these Collingwood yeah. players as my sons and you know yeah they they made mistakes but it, it's not for me to berate them and get stuck into them it's for me to get around them yeah and he started saying that when he inherited the team that uh, the guys were they were in their shells and they were sort of scared to he goes and he's just Provided a bit of fun for the boys. Ah, it's good. You hear, you hear a lot of comments like that. I, they're, they're, they're not they're not intentional, but I, you hear a lot of comments that you think ah bucks. Well, we never, yeah. never, never, never mention the name, obviously. Yeah, but good. Uh, was sort of, you know, when but he, I love bucks. Oh, he's, he's the only person love more than flies bucks. Really? Wow, well, you know, bucks is a because you saw bucks play, yeah. and yeah, you've got a longer history with bucks. That's true, and he's. He's got a better body, Bucks. Yeah, and I've seen Bucks through the bad times. That's right. I, think, I feel flies. It's been all good times. There hasn't been many well, bad times with well, flies. He's, he's done well with the fly. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's going real well, and he's, yeah. he's positive. So he's introduced uh, – he, he mentioned a story about um, they went and played uh, somewhere, and two blokes were playing their 200th game for the opposition. Yep. They thought, well, fuck, there's going to be – they're going to be up this other team. Yep. Let's so run through let's, both those Let's blokes. run through both yeah. of them. Um, and one of the, the skipper, Pendles, said, oh, I don't even really do that these days, fly. And he said, fuck so you, Pendles. Said, fuck you, Pendles. I mean, I've been here five minutes. Yeah, Darcy's here. captain. Yeah, fuck you. Yep. I don't want your input anymore, yeah. champ. Darcy's in. Yeah, but yeah. no. So what they did, uh, is Darcy Cameron a player? Darcy, yeah. Okay, so it was his 40th that week. 
Ah, so well, what I was talking about Darcy Moore. Yeah, I knew but, that. Yeah, yeah, I knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, Darcy no, no, Cameron. Yeah, okay, it was his 40th. So they yeah, said, well, okay. what, what we're going to do with Darcy, like Craig McCraig, Fly got up and he said, well, boys, so-and-so are playing their 200 for the other team. But, geez, that is nothing. That is nothing to the – in comparison to what we got. Yep. Young Darcy Cameron playing his 40th game. How good is it? Let's get around him. And they made a huge deal of yeah, Darcy nice. Cameron's 40th game. And I think they went out and won the game. Oh, good. It was, uh, it was beautiful stuff. He just had some great, great stuff like that. And yeah, the, the questions good. are going good. And it's the vibe in the room, it was electric. It was yep. like, marry me, fly. I was yeah. down on one knee, like proposing. He goes, fuck off. I've got to answer these questions, you dickhead. Yep. It was just, you could not have got a more positive, it's great for the club, ah, it's brilliant. Wish I could have been there. Wish oh, I could have been man. a fly on the wall. Well, you would have loved it. Yeah. You would have loved it, except for this part. Oh, oh boy. All right. So, older bloke, silver fox in his 70s. There's always one fuck with it question. Puts his, puts his hand up. Puts his hand up. And they go, yep, yep no worries. Big fella, step up. He steps up. And he pulls out a piece of paper. I thought, fuck, he means, here we go. He means business here. He's got an axe to grind. Yep. What's he going to do when he goes? There's I don't always know. one of these fuckwits. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, he, he, I don't know what his name, it might have been Macker or something like this, but he sort of, he set it up. He goes, I don't know the exact wording, but he says, uh, if his name was Macker, he goes, oh, my name's Macker. And, uh, you know, I, um, I like to uh, I say what I think, and uh, I don't mind some heated... He didn't say something like that, but basically what he's setting up is... You're is paraphrasing. That he's going to ask the question that, what's he going to fucking ask? Because he, he, wants, he wants to cause some friction here. So what, what is going through these fuckwits' minds? Like, are they honestly thinking... Because every person in the room at this stage oh, is thinking, everyone is this looking guy's at fly. a cockhead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, everyone's loving fly. Yeah. But then he gets up and like he's. It's like he's got a. Um, uh, it's his. Um, you know, he's written out this. What the, what the Unabomber right is fucking. Um, um, what do they call those? I thought about it today. Got a bit of a fart you know, it's, brewing here. Um, okay, all right. Uh, but anyway, he's got he's got this fucking page and go. Oh yep. God, what's he, what's he gonna ask? So everyone's everyone's okay. just thinking, just shut up. Shut up. So, all right. So, this is this is what he says. All right. So, he basically says, I'm a bit of a cockhead. Yep. I like to, you know, push people's buttons. I, I like controversy. I'm a real flog. And he goes, all right. Yep. I just want to say, first up, I don't like AFLW. And, uh, all right. All right. So, uh, and I'm... Now yeah, that cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. He, he, all right. He doesn't like AFLW. And uh, I'm a ground zero here. I'm sitting... The people I'm sitting next to are the... The women's coaches. Okay. The blokes who are the women's coaches at the club. They've just been telling me, oh, it's great. We've got 85 girls. We've got three teams. We're yep. the biggest AFLW. And Shelly Heath's on my table. Her dad's on my table. So and this guy uh, hasn't read the room. He has not read the room. When, no. McC- when Fly has just pumped this room up, into people are crying. People are, yep. sign- people are signing Collingwood memberships. Yep. They're like, I hated Collingwood, but Fly, yeah, you've, got- sign me up, Fly. you've got me on board. I'm a member. I, uh, I want on board. So he goes, all right. So he says that, and you can feel, you know when you feel a room just yeah. gasp? And he goes, all right. Is a little bit excited. A uh, little bit of me is um, this, this could be something because I'm right next to the coaches, and you should. That were, one of them was a big mm. boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, what's this guy going to do? They're very uh, say what you will about the women's footy. It hasn't progressed yet to the stage where you can hang shit on it. No, or uh, uh, everything's positive. And then, you know, and like then a bad yeah. kick. Well, it was a, it was a slippery surface. Yeah. Uh, drop mark. The wind was. Yeah, and it, it's it's all uh, it's all positive. You, you can't yet be critical, or it is all fucking. Well, it's still in the learning, it's, yeah, growing yeah, stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yep. uh, and and you know, I, I I don't watch it, but I don't watch much AFL. No, so I'm sort of sitting on the fence here. So I, yep. I, I don't. I'm not really into it. I must say what it has done is, though, it has – anyway, so then he goes, you know, I think they're spending way too much money on it. Okay. Uh, you know, it's taken away from local clubs, and I just think it's 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 not right what they're doing with AFLW. And whoo, whoo. So is that a question? That was a question, or question or a, that was a to question. fly. What does he think? Well, 
should fly? What, what does fucking fly care? He mm. should, this, he, like you said, he hasn't read the room. But the crazy thing is yeah. that in, in that environment, I bet behind closed doors with a leaning on the bar with your beer in your hand, yep. being a, a local footy club, yes. probably 80% men, a lot of them, uh, not, not the I hate women's footy thing, but a lot of them would think that they're spending too, too much, much on women's footy and p- potentially it could be uh, put into uh, local footy. Local footy. After this story, remind me, I've got an idea that could save local footy. But also, I, I did think about it because I was... But they are putting money into local football because a lot of teams now... Like when I played, there was no women's footy at East Ringwood. No. But now there is. So they've got new club rooms and things like that. Yeah. And there's more money like that, but yeah. maybe it's the country clubs who are copping it. See, I don't think it's as much the money. I think it's just the people. I just don't think there's enough players anymore. So, so, no. so how do you... You know, like like Cora or other Glen, by all yeah. reports, had money, but but they just could not physically get players. So all the money in the world, well, that's, you, yeah, you, that's, you can't expect clubs, you can't expect the AFL to give clubs money to pay for players. No, no, no. And that's where my idea comes well, in, which okay. we'll get to all shortly. Right, all right. Yeah. So okay. So he said that, and the room has just gone. Phew. Like everyone, everyone's yep. gone. And I'm, in, I'm at ground zero. I'm yep. at ground zero. I'm next to the girls' coaches. I'm with the uh, AFLW player. And uh, Fly answered it very, uh, gro- answered it very, very well. Yeah, of course he does. Does. He's, mate, he's a professional. Professional. Goes to the break. They do another auction. They auction off some more stuff. And then uh, the president or one of the uh, ladies comes in to, the, to these guys and uh, the coaches yep. the, and say... Because old mate next to me, he starts going, who is that fuckwit? I might, oh. I might go over and maybe Did just, he say fuckwit? Yeah. Oh, nice. I might... Uh, Jeez, this guy's fucking... What's he got a drinking problem or something? No, he doesn't. He doesn't drink. Jesus. He doesn't drink. The boy, They were both on the Cokes. I go, don't you drink, boys? I go, nah, not really a big drinker. God, so imagine he's just, with a fucking... He's, maybe he's caffeined up. Imagine with bloody nine Jimmy cans in him. <laughs> oh, I thought... It would have had some questions for flying. Yeah, so he starts going, oh, I might just go and introduce myself to this fuckwit. And uh, a lady came over and said, oh, don't, don't, don't give it any oxygen. Just so... so so there was an elephant oh, oh, in the who, room. Who was saying, who is this fuckwit? Um, the, the women's coach. Oh, I thought you I meant was, the, uh, the guy that asked the question was saying, who is this fuckwit? Who too? Well, that's what I was wondering. Like, <laughs> whether, was he asking that about Fly or, no, or one of no. the female footballers? Or? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So the I, AFL gotcha, w, the, gotcha, coach, gotcha. the coach of the women's team, one of the yeah, coaches, gotcha. he's looking over and going, right, Disregard previous comments. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he's going, who's oh, this nice. fuckwit? Oh, nice. This is firing up. All right, it's firing up. And there's a real, like, it was sort of maybe like the, I mean, no one was crying at the bar. No. Like Dennis the Menace. No. But there's a real fucking thing in the room. And uh, one of the ladies comes over and says, oh. I'm telling I, you, as I get older and less and less exciting shit happens in my life. We need it. I fucking live for this shit. Yeah, so this bloke goes fucking, and I, I sort of said to him, I said, mate, I reckon you could take him. I sort of whispered in his yeah. head, I go, man, you I reckon him. you got him covered. Yeah. But then they're going to him, no, don't, don't give it any oxygen. We just, don't. but then someone's saying from the club, we've got to get up and apologize to Shelley and make a big deal that he's, because I think he was a guy from the club, but he wasn't like a loyal, yeah. he was one of these float in, maybe stand on the hill kind of guys. Yeah, but that's but what that, these days are that's about. That's what it's about. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. So, uh, but then, but then they're like, oh, you know, you need to get up and apologize and say that's not how the football club thinks. But um, so who, who's emceeing? This poor bloke from the club. The bloke from the club. But then he was there. Uh, the other bloke was doing. Another bloke was doing the interviews. And uh, oh, so where's, it's where's all, Benny Dixon? It's, oh, all, Benny, all, all of a sudden, the, wouldn't have mind paying the fifteen hundred to have him clean up ooh, this. I wonder what he would have done. No, oh, he would have. Uh, yeah, bloody taken a good good mark and. <laughs> kicked it after kicked, the siren. Did he kick that guy yeah, after the siren? Yeah, please. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, all right. So we've got through that. Still, yep. still a bit of a buzz in the room. Who is this fuckwit? This isn't what we stand for at the Mornington Football Club. Right, let's grab a little break for a sec. Well, I uh, grab a little break. <laughs> Sharp, well Sharp. delivered, well delivered, well executed, and clean. Mm. 
not like this story. Oh, I can smell clean. Okay. Uh, right. No, this story is good. No, it's, well, it's a bit happening. All right. So then we go. Then Richo pops up. Oh. Richo pops up and uh, he's, he's a pro. Yeah. He does it. He's got, he's got that. They lead him into all the questions he wants. He tells the stories. He loves Bernie it. Quinlan, the super Bernie boot. Qu- he didn't tell that one, actually. Ah, it's a but, shame. Uh, it's a beauty. Said, you know, Richo. For, for his whole career, has just been called Richo. <laughs> Trade yep. is a drive post. Richo, you're a shit fucking kick, mate. Yeah, nice. All that kind of stuff. So Richo's he, he's killing it. It's all going well. And by this stage, she's, she's getting a bit late. Yeah. I think I'm not getting on. Well, there's too many acts on. People, oh, there is. People that book these days, uh, th- these uh, luncheons, think they've got to have every fucking spare minute catered for. But they think. It's the 50 50 rule. Yep. Half entertainment. Half catch up Chatting, and have a chat with yes. your mates because that's what you want to do. You, so you don't want to walk no out there going, get home to your wife. How was Barry? Oh, I didn't, I didn't get, get to see him. Well, it was a bit like he was this. too busy yelling, yelling shit out. You know the way Barry feels about women's footy. He made quite the fucking dick of himself <laughs> down there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so yeah, because there's no free time. It's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, you need time. You need time to let and you, save half your money too. Just, I know. I know. So it's getting like nothing ever runs to time. Though. Never. We got this schedule. I said, well. I can put another three hours on it. Yep. So, uh, and they're all getting there. Richo gets another great intro. Yep. And, oh, I'm going, how good's my intro going to be? Yeah. This is going to be amazing. So Richo does his job, goes to question time again. And uh, questions are great, beautiful. And then old mate thought he'll just try and um, – I think he'd – he was trying to make a bit of a joke of it now. He puts okay. his hand up, he stands yep. up and goes, oh, just a quick one on women's football, trying to sort of – Yeah. And everyone's like, ah, oh, like yeah, there was like no, no, there were no's going yeah, on. They're yeah. like they don't like this guy. So he's maybe maybe he's realised he might have, but he seemed to be thriving on it. Yeah, I think I think he really a, loved it. He's a real stick puller. He's real a, stick puller. He's an A grade cockhead. A grade cockhead. This bloke and just that guy. Who, Shut the fuck up, mate. He'd be real annoying to have a fucking beer with. Oh. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so then uh, Richo finishes. It's uh, it's about three thirty by this stage, yep. and uh, we go into another auction. Dennis gets back up. He sells a bit more stuff. And uh, at this stage, I don't know what's sort of happening. I'm tipping. I've got to be up soon. Yeah. Got to be up soon. But also, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to look at my material, some of it. Like, I'm mm. I'm not very, uh, you know, uh, risky, risque. No. But yeah. All yeah. Of a Your sudden, 15 minutes about hating women's footy would be getting a black... Black yeah, well, through, I was going to open with that. Yeah. I thought uh, oh, I that's I my, that's a new that's my closer. Clo- yeah, but, I mean, closer. you do have stuff about uh, about the wife and yeah. um, you know being scared of huntsmen and you know things like that. Where they're yep. fucking good jokes, but all of a sudden you're like, Ugh. it's not mm. quite sure how it's all going to go. So I'm starting to fix my setup a bit, but I'm waiting for the big intro. So yep. Dennis finished the auction. I thought this MC is going to bloody they're going to have a bloody big headshot of Evo. Yeah, they're going to run some highlights of him. Crushing on stage. Yeah, maybe. And, uh, or your punchlines so they don't work. Yep, that would be fantastic. And uh, anyway, Dennis hands over. He hands the mic over to, I don't know what the lady's name was, but uh, I mean, she hadn't spoken for the whole day. No. And then uh, a lot of people are standing up. And then she goes, all right, now we've uh, to finish up. We've, uh, we've got uh, the comedian, Evan. And, and that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. So I sort of run. Run to the stage. I make my way up. I move all the shit out of the way, and uh, people are sort of looking. What, what's going on here? What's uh, what, who is this, this guy? Who's this guy? Is that the local comedian? Mm. Who the fuck is this guy? And uh, it goes all right. I, originally, the bloke said do thirty, but I'm like, oh what fuck, that. we're not getting out of here till yeah. fucking. That's good thing about going last at these days. You often get your thirty turned into twenty, turned into twenty, turned into ten. Yeah, but I thought oh, I better do twenty, so I did twenty, and uh, it was hard to get the whole room. There was uh, some women who didn't like me. There was some old blokes just look at you like they're fucking. No, they had you on o- too late. They o- had you on o- too late OD'd on Viagra or something. They're like, oh fuck, and it was yeah, but uh, we got it done. But uh, yeah, just a fun. <laughs> Little old mate was just yeah. did not read the room well, after Fly had everyone. They had too much shit on. Too much. Too much shit on. Too Do you want to hear my idea about how I can save local food? Talk to me. All right. So it's, it's run by the AFL in conjunction with a sponsor. I've had this idea cooking away for about six months in my head because the more clubs that go away, go um, go into, everyone's whinging about the AFL not supporting local clubs. Yep. So I'm thinking how. Like you can't just give someone 10 grand because half the clubs will be dumb as fuck. They'll yeah. play one full forward who'll 
take all the money and yeah you know, so what do you do what do you do so my idea is what do Aussies love more than anything um a punt a punt Aussies love a gamble well I mean you you look at all the betting agencies yep. you look at um the amount yep. of money we spend yep yep you can't argue with that can't argue with that Aussies love a punt so one of, apparently the Aussie lottery per capita is like the one of the biggest in the world. Yep. I've got nothing to back that up. I just sort of made that no, up. But yeah, I reckon it'd, mate, be, go with it'd it. have to be close. It'd be big. It'd be big. So I reckon the AFL, maybe in conjunction with a sponsor like bloody Ford or Toyota or whoever their, whoever their sponsor is at the time, they run a lottery. Okay. And, and so the AFL chucks in a million bucks. Yep. Which is... Peanuts for these guys. Oh, it's bloody loose change. So it's it's a mil- maybe two, maybe five million. All right. And every club, it's all registered on this website. Clubs sell tickets for twenty bucks. Okay. And you then get a chance to win two million bucks or whatever this prize is. It's the ultimate reverse draw. It's the. It? It's not a reverse draw because it, oh. it would take ages. Okay. There's thousands of people yeah. in it. So plus Steve's running yeah, it. Yeah, and Steve, he'd fuck it right up. Steve, you just sit out of this one. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and, and every club can have endless tickets, but they have, you have got to register them. So, so otherwise it'd be a shit show. So you have got this website. You go to Caulfield Bears. Uh, ticket one number one thousand three hundred twenty six goes to T Seagate. Click, and that's registered. So if a club goes out. Gives each player twenty tickets, fifty tickets. Yep. If you sell a thousand tickets, you should be able to sell a thousand tickets. Two thousand. If you sell two thousand tickets, you get forty thousand bucks. Yeah. And yep. and, and the winner, because twenty dollars is a good amount that you sell them to people at work, and all of a sudden, the that's this massive amount of money that the AFL is putting into the community for really a million bucks. Or and the winner, and they do it every year. Winner gets a mill. Maybe two mil. Yep. And it's uh, so the AFL lottery to support local clubs. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Well, I was sort of not really listening, so I don't understand it fully. But I just don't know. Um, you know, gambling is that? Is, is that, it? Is it, it gambling? Well, I just don't reckon old uh, Gil Gil would. Is he still oh, the fucking CEO? No, I don't know. But <laughs> but it's not really gam. Like it's not. Nah. You're not sitting there. It's twenty bucks a ticket. It's, it's twenty a, it's bucks a, lottery. a ticket. It's a lottery. It's mm. not like yeah, mm. I'm, I'm suggesting they put eight pokies in every club rooms. Yeah, no, I, I reckon. I reckon. Well, fuck the lottery. Let, let's just get more gambling. Let's just fucking uh, yeah, maybe Anzac Day at all the two ups. We just fucking play two up have, at every fucking local club. Have two up we, all year round. Maybe maybe we go back to the old days where you have casino nights and uh, all that kind of shit. Maybe they could. Yeah, have things allowed in, like I know in uh, America. Maybe the AFL just fucking run a ju- drug ring and all the money from the drugs can just... Or just legalise maybe prostitution within the walls of local footy clubs. I or, reckon do that. Uh, Let's just go old school. I mean, everyone's yep. trying to think about different ways to put yeah. money back into local clubs. No, Let's just fucking... Look, I think you're shitting on my idea a bit. Uh, but <laughs> I think the... the I, yeah, I hadn't really thought about the fact that it could be con- so considered gambling. Yeah, I, d- I don't know if old Big Gill's going to get but that is ticket. It gam- he's, he's buying a lottery ticket gambling, well, I guess Technically, it is, it's yeah. gambling. It's like not wearing a condom. If you, I mean, that's gambling. That's gambling. That's gambling. That's so that's really gambling. Yeah, well, yeah. all right, well, that's that's my idea, buddy. No, well, it, it's not a bad idea, but I, I just don't know if... Well, they got to uh, do something. They do have to do something. Well, if they think, bloody, spending 200 grand on each club putting in shower cubicles is fucking saving clubs, they're... Sadly mistaken. Well, maybe just football clubs, instead of blokes just pissing off straight after the game, why don't they fucking put some money over the bar? Compulsory. Maybe you've just... Maybe they turn football clubs into jails. They get the big fucking blue stone walls like Pentridge. Yep. And they have guards at the game. Yep. And then... Not till ten o'clock at night. They let everyone out. Or like you if get, people start trying to get out, they shoot yeah. them. What have they got a family function or something? Maybe, maybe well, you got to write a. You got to yeah. get a letter from your mum. Or you just got to drink quick because maybe you get like reverse drink cards. Yeah. So instead of getting money, so you get a drink card, and every drink you get, you get it clicked off, and yeah. you can't go home until you've had five drinks. That's right. 
and uh, maybe just forget about the drink driving laws for a bit. And just I like no, the Pentridge. I like the Pentridge thing. What? Well, we've got enough. Just turn them into a jail. <laughs> well, mate, lock them in, and not till ten o'clock. We've got a lack of players anyway. We don't need to go shooting bloody local footballers <laughs> we, trying to escape clubs. <laughs> I think we do. All right, I've gone a bit cuckoo here. You gone? You gone bloody silly. I've so gone here we are. Uh, I, I came in here with a legitimate idea to save local footy, and you've been. All right, well, hit us up, and what do you reckon of Tom's idea? And what do you reckon of mine? Well, yours is fucking ridiculous. Mine's <laughs> at least a chance. All I'm, all I need for mine to work is for Gil to say, you know what, the pros outweigh the cons. And yours needs to completely change the cons outweigh the pros. The pros, it's jail. yeah, yeah. And we have pros in there as well. <laughs> the cons. And we the have pros. we have cons and pros at footy clubs. Well, maybe just organise sporties days without forty fucking guest speakers. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> That'd be good. We'll get two guys to run your uh, reverse drawer and completely fuck, fuck it up. Fuck it up. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that anyway, was, it's... Uh, uh, anyway, that was... Uh, whew, that was, that was uh, a bit off the rails at the bit end. Bit off there. the rails. Oh, I just... I got a bit crazy there. God, that, this one happened. And look, we're, we're nearly done, but yeah. I, I won't remember this one if oh. we... Uh, uh, yeah, I've just got a little tidbit at the end as well. Okay. Um, this won't take long. This is fucking nothing. So I was at went, birthday dinner, Warburton Pub. Oh. Magical big old building. Yeah, I thought wife and I let's uh, kids. Yeah, kids are there. Okay. Um, Very romantic, and uh, they're running around causing fucking chaos. And um, and so we said, let's order a dozen of oysters. Oh, Warburton, mate, home of seafood. Home Warburton. of seafood. Home yeah. of seafood. Because I could see all the uh, all the fishermen. Um, Fish picking the baskets? picking the oysters out of the yeah. out of the Yarra River there out of the Warburton yeah. fucking river. Yep. Um, so turd floats. <laughs> so we've uh, we've got yeah. That's the is that it's the Yarra River. It could be it's looking a lot nicer up there. I tell you what. Yeah, it's lovely. It's beautiful yeah, up there. Were there any shopping trolleys or bikes in there? No, no, and no dead people. No, which well, that's was a nice handy. touch. That's handy. And um, anyway, so we've ordered a dozen oysters. Geez, they must be coming any second, Chef. The chef himself has come out and said, guys. These are off. These are off. <laughs> Sorry. No, he said, Sorry. guys, I just tried one of the oysters. He said, they're not right. He said, I can't give, I can't give you these. Bullshit. Yeah, 100%. Oh, really? Has that ever happened to you? He goes, I've just tried one of the oysters. They're, they're not right. <laughs> so he said, well, you well, fuck fucking stop eating me oysters? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stop eating. Mate, I said one of your oysters, mate. They're fucking delicious. Yeah. Sorry I, about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah, fucking so, ate half your palm, mate. Yeah. So, um, it's so, fucking not bad, actually. You've only, got, the other half. you've only got three oysters left. I really got on a roll there. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about it. No, no. He said, I had one of your oysters, and it, yeah, it just doesn't seem right. I don't feel right selling that to you, so uh, we'll give you money back. I was like... Can we have a crack? Okay, yeah. Can we have a crack at them for free? Yeah, can we have a fucking... What are you going to do with them? <laughs> mate, you let, let me be the yeah. judge, mate. I think, they're fuck, I think they're fucking fine. You're talking about fucking... You're talking a wrought iron gut here, mate. I'll yeah. fucking have them. I've eaten surf and turf, mate. Yeah. In Wodonga. I've, I've, <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, I've shit in a park, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I'll shit in the Warby River. Yeah. I've eaten Birralee Tavern, surf and turf. Don't you tell me what's wrong to fucking <laughs> serve up to me, mate. I'll eat that fucking dead cat over there, mate. Fucking oath. Yeah. So, uh, no, what we said was, okay, thanks for, we appreciate that. But that yeah. was a bit of a weird one. You don't see that every day. No, you don't. You don't. So, obviously, you didn't rotate the stock. Maybe someone wrote the wrong uh, date on the on oysters. On the oysters, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, all right, do you want to hear this little bad boy? Ah, do I ever. Oh, yeah. So, there's there's always a bit of banter. Co- comedians are uh, always Ah, it like never that. ends. It never ends. It never ends. Now, uh, this this is a response from a well-known comedian to a room booker, which, um, yep. which uh, you know, I'm going to mention the names because it's nothing silly. It's nothing uh, It's nothing that can incriminate. It's just good good times. Just some good banter. Just some good banter. So, uh, Simon Hughes. Oh, I uh, thought... I thought you were going to read out my... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you were looking like, a bit fucking scared. hell. I'm not reading that out. Because I did a... Uh, a joke. A, yeah, there was a... Between a rather well-known... You did chari- a little pale. ...charity organisation yeah. uh, that uh, a friend and I are dealing with at the moment, and yeah. I wrote a mock response. Yeah. And uh, tell you what, if you read that out, that would... Uh, this would be the That's end. Not of the, even for the would, Patreon. Would be the end of the fucking <laughs> podcast. Because <laughs> so I was just you, having a bit of fun. You were looking. You were looking and a bit I, pale. And, there. Yeah, oh, and you. No. 
Yeah, you asked the question. How many times did you check that the charity's name was not in the email CC'd. before you sent it? And I said over a thousand. Like, yeah. oh fuck, I was oh, nervous. Yeah, yeah. That was worth it. It was worth Got it. Some laughs. Okay, so this is, this is a bit more family friendly. Oh, this good. Is, this is all good. Yeah, so, that was uh, a bit cruel. Yeah, that was cruel, but funny. Fucking funny. But uh, can never see a lot of day. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so Simon Hughes, who runs Kings of Comedy, yep, has been running that for yeah. about seven years. Um, yeah, a lot of the time, he, he hasn't he hasn't got comedians locked in until the day of the gig. Yeah, I've never so, walked into the room. I wouldn't know where no, it is. No, well, never done the, the gig. Colonial Hotel, okay, in Melbourne. I'd like uh, to get down there one day. Yeah, he, he sent me. Simon sent me to the Gold Coast. Simon said, right. "Oh, was that yeah, him? Oh, Hang on, got another fart." Yep. <laughs> Short, Short and sweet. No fucking around. Nah, just getting And had a it. job to do. Not wet. Not wet. I like Dry. It. All right. So Simon's obviously, he needs a headline act. I don't know oh. whether he's sending this on Friday or Saturday. But anyway. Oh, that stinks. He sent it at 44.31 p.m. Jesus, what'd you have? Uh, at 41 p.m.? I meant, uh, <laughs> sorry. What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> don't fucking say what's wrong with me, mate. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ, you, oh you said the wrong thing about 10 times. I've got to go, it's 41 p.m. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 4.31 p.m. Ah. So this could be the day of the gig. So this is this is pretty late notice. Yeah. Even if it's the day before, it's still pretty late So it's 4 p.m. 3.41 p.m. 4.31. 4.30, fuck. So gig starts at 7.30. Gig starts at, I think it starts at 7. Yeah. Anyway, so. Whoa. Now, the email is RE, short notice booking. Yeah. He sent it to Tony Martin. Okay, you know, big, Tony name. Martin. Yeah, big, big name. Big name. Big name, sizzled. sizzled genius. Down. Yeah, Martin Malloy. Absolute genius. So, obviously, Simon sent the email. Um, Sorry, short notice, but are you free tonight to headline Kings of Comedy? Yeah. So, uh, Tony's got back. How did you get your hands on this? Oh, this was through another comic. Okay. Yeah. We spread a lot of shit around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Should you be reading this? No, this this is fine. Okay. This is funny. Beautiful. This is funny. It's not like yours. Yeah. They're funny, but very inappropriate. Not half uh, funny. Okay. So Tony Martin, back to Simon Hughes, who's trying to get him to headline his room. Yep. He says, hi, Simon. Afraid I am in Summers, the town, not Daryl. <laughs> Tony. He's a fucking genius. That is fucking great. Look how short it is. That is you could not Oh, that's it. That is that oh. is there is no fat on that email response, is it? Just there? when you think you couldn't love a man anymore. Hi Simon. Afraid I am in Summers, the town. Not Daryl. <laughs> Imagine if he was in Daryl. That'd be sick. Like, Sorry. Can't so, do the gig, I'm fucking Daryl. Sorry, Daryl. <laughs> I've got to send an email. There was, a, there was a great... It was the comedian that passed away recently. He was like... Everyone loved him. The American... Uh, oh, Norm. Yeah, Norm. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. Norm and McDonald. I think we've had this... You talk about no fat in a... No. In a... Uh, erection. In an erection. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, God. This... Um, anyway, so, so he passed away and, and all the comedians are... Doing posts about you yes. know, about you know, all the th- funny things, and uh, Joe List, you yeah. saw the thing that Joe List did. Oh, I don't uh, remind me. Cause... It was fuck. It was good. So it was it was um, so Joe List just wrote this interaction with um, Norm Macdonald sums him up perfectly, and it was he just cut and paste a text message conversation. Yeah, and um, and he goes, "G'day, Joe." This is in the middle of COVID. Yep. So this is a message that he sent Joe List during COVID. And he said, G'day, Joe. Just checking in on you, mate. Hope you're doing okay. So lovely thing Great. to say. Just and, checking in with your mates. Are you okay? Um, and he said, who? And he wrote back, going, going okay, mate. Thanks for asking. Bit bummed out. Just had to cancel six gigs. And he wrote back, who booked you for six gigs? <laughs> 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 And that was it. And he said, nothing sums him up more than that. Oh, nice as pie, great. but could not fucking resist yeah. just having a fucking crack at oh, it. isn't it Being great? Being a smart ass. Isn't it great? That's what it's all and about. Then, yep. And that's, uh, you're like that. Ah, you're, you're, you're there for your friends when you need them. That's and, uh, it. You're there to shoot them. The moment man. they drop a catch, you're fucking there to lay the boots in. Bloody oath, mate. Bloody Be oath. To, so. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Yep. And a friend with weed is better. Yeah. Who, who sung that placebo? Yes, it was. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I wonder, know my music. Wonder what. Um, wonder what Dennis the Menace thinks of uh, placebo. Because the lead singer is a bit androgynous. 
What's androgynous mean? No, I think they something to do with he's a man, but he sort of dresses. Oh fuck! It's all getting too complicated. Cross dresser. It's not a cross dresser. It's different. Ah uh, well. Big D. Look well, up I'm androgynous. Not, I don't normally like to speak for Dennis the Menace, but I'm saying. I'm guessing not too happy with that. I'm guessing he's burn, burning his placebo CDs. <laughs> he's smashing his placebo <laughs> CDs. But, uh, All right, this, uh, anyway, we uh, wind it up. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's thanks. been a long ep. Yeah, it has. Uh, thanks for everyone who tuned in. Thanks for everyone on the Patreon. Like I said, episode coming out, a bonus on Friday, and we'll try and get a bit more audio yeah, for everyone yeah, yeah. who can't, uh, can't watch it. And even if, and it's just, I know you're getting content back, but just thanks for the support. Yeah. Because uh, all this stuff's free. So that just, yeah. uh, and there's still a bit of work goes into it. I've yeah, got to yeah. turn up here once yeah, a day, yeah, once you, a week. Yeah, once a week, mate. Don't yeah. fucking push yourself. Um, yeah, so uh, Tommy, you're in Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide, so you're Fringe. In Adelaide. So this so will come out board. Thursday. There's still tickets left. Yep, oh, there's yep. still tickets left. Don't yep. worry about that. All right, in a week I'm going to be in Townsville, then hit Bowen, then I'm uh, Silkwood, Urimo, Port Douglas, a few gigs around Cairns. So if you're in those regions... Bloody get on board. And yep. I'll, uh, it's going to be good times. Great times. And, uh, yeah, uh, get on the Instagram, that's it. get on the YouTube, give us a rating, give us a review, tell your mates about it. That's another episode of... 110. Good... Good... Bad Good... 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 Good...